Why don't I use a little magic to make things more interesting? Okay. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Voila. With a winky. Why is there a cat sound? <laughs> the puppy fish have more friends to play with now. Do we have catfish too? That are actual cats? Yeah, dude, I got one. There's a kitty fish right there, boys. And I think... What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I am back with another episode of my Stardew Valley Expanded Super Modded Playthrough. I am sitting here at my desk, and I've got my drink in my hand, my handy-dandy notebook to write down any handy-dandy notes, but most importantly, I have you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. But wait... Before we go on, we had a cutscene at the beginning and I recorded it in the last one and I didn't know if I would be able to record it in this one or not. So we're going to do some super splicey action right now. Oh my goodness, we've got ourselves cutscene. There's a big dilapidated farm and it's er -er 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 erring and I sense something west of Cindersap Forest. Maybe it's because I discovered that Junimo thing in the previous episode. Um... It's previous episode now. I'm recording it at the end of the episode I just did before. So if you're wondering why maybe I had a costume change or something, now you know. I'm just going to cut and splice it into the next episode, which is the episode you're watching right now. Because that's what I do. Anyway, maybe it's that uh, dilapidated farm that's in, this, in the uh, deep woods. That would be pretty cool, not going to lie. And now I'm at the front door because that's where I wake up out of bed. And that's pretty interesting. Oh boy. So I guess that's probably going to be what we do today. It'll be tough competing. I think she said competing. What are we competing against? I shouldn't have just clicked. I should have just gone. Um, Because golly, last time in the last episode, which you may have missed. If you did, go back and watch it first because major things happen. And there are big reveals. And it's muy importante. Um, tomorrow's going to be gusty. Today we will have bad luck. And... I don't know how to use the Farmtronics computer yet, so that's just, don't even bother with that. But I do have, um, I do have some good news, because last time we did go into the, uh, Cindersap Forest, but we, it wasn't really the Cindersap Forest, it was like this Junimo home maze thing. We finally made it, uh, we finally mazed it, <laughs> uh, but anyways, dear pile, one week from today, we are holding the Stardew Valley Fair in the town square. It's the biggest event of the year, drawing people from all across the country to our humble town. If you'd like, you can set up a Grange display for the event. Just bring up to nine items that best showcase your talents. You'll be judged on the quality and diversity of your display. The fair starts at 9 a.m. Don't miss it. I'm not going to remember that. That's so many days and weeks and months from now. Seriously, not going to remember that at all. Are these done? Oh, they're not done. They're not done. They're not done. <gasps> these are done. What are they? Are they, they look like artichokes. Yeah, they are. And then what are these guys? Leeks, too? Oh, man. And we've got some sunflowers, which we can go ahead and just turn around and plant again, actually. So why don't we do that real quick? Oh, and I even got ten. These ones are great because they, uh, they, they're they self-replicating, you know, you know, as they are, as they do. I don't see anything else here. So does that mean I can put this back? I'd rather, I better not. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Right here. I found him. Don't worry. Y'all were yelling at your TV screen and, or your computer monitor or whatever have you, and you're like, my board game uh, yeah. Don't worry, I got it. So it must take eight days for that. Let's see what we do have here. There are two crops ready in the greenhouse, so we'll go inside the greenhouse. That'll be fine. And I have to click the X now, I guess. Um, this is my farm. This is my farm. Yeah, we we are uh, we're we're doing good stuff here. We're doing God's work. And, um, the big thing that I'd like to do today is go and explore that one little thing that was over there with the stuff, the, that, that, I don't know, what would you call it? The, the dilapidated farm. I'll just, I'll just call it the dilapidated farm, because that's what I feel like it is. Uh, we do have to keep the artichoke seeds here, but I'm going to throw those awesome sauce artichokes up there and four of the bok choys. We will make more bok choy seeds as well. That's a good idea. We'll make some more bok choy seeds as well. These guys will sell. Um, how about, how are we for sunflowers? I feel like that's a, oh, maybe it is a winter thing. Oh no, I got some right there. So I don't need any more sunflowers. 
How am I doing on sunflower seeds? Uh, that's probably going to be in here too. Oh, I have plenty of sunflower seeds. I don't need any more of those. How about these bok choys? I've got plenty of bok choys. Eight. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, and I should be drinking my coffee so that I go faster. No, I didn't want to do that either. Yes, drink the coffee. We did find ourselves a dinosaur egg in here uh, in our second silo. I also noticed I actually have the uh, the mill done. We're gonna we're gonna hatch that dino egg. That that's gonna be a good one over there. Um, I have the mill done down here, so I'm gonna have to go get some of that unmilled rice and see if I can't throw it. I think there's a hopper for that, so see if we can't do that. Oh, look at this now. Two ancient fruits out of that. Not much else, but. Where'd my ancient, I think my ancient fruits go up here. I think that's where I was putting them. So that uh, that actually could be a good thing. Okay. Okay. Very well. I accept. Let's see if I can't put the ancient fruits. I'm probably going to keep... Uh, where do I keep these seeds? Where do I keep the ancient fruits? Err... Uh, here. I'll keep this one. We're going to turn this one, though, into a seed. So we can try and plant it in the um, in the greenhouse. I don't have any other ancient seeds in here. That's fine. I am going to drop off all of those, though. I'm keeping this other truffle nearby, so after we do whatever we do today, I can go ahead and throw it in here. Oh, there's a little skeleton up here. That's so cute. All right, let's see. Drink the coffee, and then I need to find some of my rice. I need to find some of my rice. Here's some unmilled rice. Let's see if I can't just throw it in here. All of it in here. No, don't eat the unmilled rice. What is this next to it? No. Oh, okay. But I'm trying to, I don't know what this is though. So I think I've got to chop at this tree so I can see behind here. That's much better. Okay, good. Um, oh, that must be where it comes out. That must be where it comes out. These look almost done. I forget if those are hops or what they are. But they're almost done. <gasps> it's finished. Oh, and I got three seeds out of that. Holy cow. Okay. Okay. I don't mind that. I should have dropped the acorn in there too. All right, so let's go plant these. Am I going to need three more super duper speedy grows? Hyper speed grows. Yes. Yes, I am. So I'm going to go do that too. I hope. Let's see what we got here. Right up top. Yeah, let's go ahead and drop all three of these down. There we go. All right, so that should actually get things going really quickly since it's the uh, the hyper speed grow. And dang, I'm going to start having money for days over here. All right, it's now 2 o'clock in the afternoon. This is how it always happens with my darn playthroughs. And I always feel bad about it, and it just keeps happening. So uh, let's go explore. I've got some of these. Should I get one more home totem? I should get one more home totem just in case... We get stuck out there. Hardwood, honey, and fiber. Hardwood, honey, fiber. Hardwood, fiber, honey is up here. I just, I just put some honey in there too. Where's you at, honey? Oh, that's right, the crab cakes. Uh, where's you at, honey? There you are. I have one. I had one extra, so it ends up being perfect. It looks like we might have a name for this thing. Actually, the Aurora Vineyard, possibly, is the name of it. I'm going to go ahead and do this here, get rid of some of these. I had made these paths in a previous visit so that I would be able to find it pretty quickly. And lo and behold, it worked. Look at this. Okay. All right. So what does this mean? Uh, this is, is this the one? Yes, this is the one. So what happened? Okay, we've got a cutscene as hoped because of the footsteps that just go here. All right, where are we? Oh, another bundle? No way. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with there being another bundle. It's not the community center bundles anymore. The symbols vaguely look like the language of the Junimo, but I'm unable to make out what they say. Okay, so let's go and explore. Isn't legible, maybe the wizard can read it. Okay, oh, it looks like we're going to the wizard, although it's getting kind of late. What does this note say over here? All right, wasn't this the newspaper? Aurora Vineyard bankrupt due to market crash, I think is what it says. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, but now we have to get back. Uh, hopefully in time to... Um, wasn't there something down here somewhere, too? I wouldn't tell how many seconds. 46 seconds we got left on this guy. 
I got the coffee. I've, I've been I've been brewing the coffee. I've been drinking the brew, and it's helping me get through this forest a little bit faster than I otherwise would have. I do like the sound that makes. It's very ASMR for me, I guess. And isn't there a beach here somewhere? I think there's a beach here somewhere. I just forget where it is. Well, here, how about this big clearing? Maybe it's somewhere over here in the big clearing. Oh, it's a moral. I thought, I swear, I thought that was some kind of, like, evil skull thing. Uh, looks like I've cut all these trees over here. Interesting. Not sure when I did that, but... Oh, yeah, here we go. And you can fish down here. I don't see... I only see breams right now, it looks like. Or breams or salmon. I always get the two confused. So there's nothing I can do there, but I feel like if I go this way through this forest, then I will get home faster than if I go the other way. Oh, plus I can get this wild plum. Oh, man, this coffee. How have I gone this far without ever using coffee before? Like... In the game. In the game! I don't really care for it in real life. Actually, that's a good pull. You know what? Leave a, leave a comment down below. Are you a coffee drinker? You fan, you fan of the bean? Or are you not so much? So there's the there's the German song. ka a f a f a a Something trinkt ich nicht für mich. Something like that. I don't know. Nicht für mich. I don't know. I don't know how to say things in German. Okay? I took French. I know how to say a little bit in German. But not very much. Right now, I'm just doing this because I don't think I'm going to be able to get to the the wizard at all. I don't think he's going to be home or awake or want me to be hanging out in his pad. But I am really close to it, actually. Oh, wait, unless it's a cutscene that goes straight to the wizard. In which case... Yes. Yes. Pile intense magic is surrounding you. What have you done? I'm going to be your wizard, too, boy. Hmm. Junimo activity in the abandoned vineyard? Most interesting. And what is the object you're carrying? I don't know. What am I carrying? I feel something in my pocket. <laughs> it's some golden scroll. What is this doing here? I ask to myself. I got a golden... I got a golden scroll. I got a golden scroll. That miraculous golden scroll is enchanted with forest magic. Hmm. Please... Follow me to my abode. This will require a thorough arcane analysis. I'm gonna find out what the heck it means. Because <laughs> I really don't. This is literally all new for me. I don't even know if this is part of Stardew Expanded or if this is the original vanilla game. Because I never made it this far in the original playthrough I did. Hand me the scroll. But this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So, that's right. Stand back. <laughs> <laughs> Further. <laughs> Stand further back, pile. We got blue, we got green, we got multicolored. Oh, I can sense the Junimos. They're close. No, oh, am I interrupting your concentration? Sorry, Rasmodius. Nothing. Hmm. I'm unable to decipher the scroll. It's so faded that it's almost illegible, and my translation skills are... rusty. But you got a sweet 10-gallon hat kind of hat cowboy thing going on, so... I'm okay with a cavalry. It's almost like a cavalry hat. I will call a good friend for assistance. She excels in ancient languages. Oh, wait. This is the other one that we were talking about previously, right? She's arriving momentarily. Oh, this is a heck of a cutscene. Noise. Ah, who did I contact? The witch of... Oh, no. Camilla the witch. Uh, my, my. Hello there, dear. Wah, wah. Oh, she's all teleporty all over. You, request, you requested my help, Razzie? <laughs> He's so, so angry. This scroll, what can you make of it? Hmm? Come on, get on it, Camilla. Oh, look at she's got She's got the skills. The spirit who wrote this hardly understands their own language. It's like reading the writing of a child. I, I think they must be young. Okay, that's all right, though. A Junimo has taken up residence in the cellar of an abandoned building west of Cindersab Forest. They request 200 starfruits. Oh. It would seem you're on the verge of making a new friend pile. On the verge. Verge. I'm going to have to... Oh, my gosh. And it takes so long to grow these things. You know, pile. I could really use someone with your... Oh, what? Oh, oh. Abilities. Oh, wink, wink. Camilla, that's enough. 
I'm sorry, I'm already married. You're no fun, Razzie. Is that all you needed me for? Indeed, thank you. Adieu. Winky, 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 Camilla face again. All right, so that's not bad. We just found out that we need 200 star fruit, but she has important matters to handle in Castle Village. Forgive her manners, pile. Castle Village, I think that's a place I can go to. I think it's a place I can go to. Um, what now? What now, Wizzy? Razzy the Wizzy. Your connection with the Junimos is fascinating. It surpasses even mine. That's because your boy is 100% magic man. Hmm, I wonder if this is related to your deeds in the community center. Probably. They like me now. I helped them. They helped me, but I helped them. It was like, you know, you, when you go to help someone, you don't realize they're really helping you. Do keep me updated. I'm quite fascinated by this turn of events. I will keep you updated instead of updated, like normal people say it. Updated. That's how you said it. I heard you. Okay, so I did do a lot of foraging. I have 119 of these here blackberries. Oh, 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 oh. But I don't want to miss these guys. These guys. My goal is was to actually get as many as possible. Oh, wait, where the... Oh, I must have hit a bush earlier there. And, uh, and I just didn't... I wasn't close enough for the magnet effect. All right, so let's go back to, um, I might have time to take the north path. I don't have time if I do that. I don't have time to, how much time is left? Six seconds. Ah, oh, right here. Ah. I won't have time to go to the, uh, to probably won't have time to drop off all this stuff. Oh, did that give me another thing? Aurora Vineyard. Leave Starfruit on the Junimo plaque and Aurora Vineyard, 200 of them. Goblin problem, gain entrance to the witch's hut. What <sighs> Level 100 in the skull caverns. I'm never going to do, that's never going to happen, guys. That just isn't, which stinks because I would like to see what happens in there. Aha, see, this is why I kept it handy. Skadoosh. All right, now I can go here. What can I sell? I, I know I can sell that. Not going to sell those, obviously. I probably can sell these. I don't think I can sell the morals. All right, so we'll just hold on to hold on to everything for now. 11:20, plenty of time to go up here and try and find uh, a few more blackberries, a few more good blackberries, like those. And I'm getting three from every bush, which is also pretty sweet. Oh, I can make it all the way over to the river. Oh, let's go to the river. Going down to the river, down to the river. But we're going to the river to collect blackberries. It's not the same. Uh-huh. Let's go. We're close. We're close. It's getting late. Here's a hazelnut. I've still got time. 30 seconds on this one. I think we're going to go home. We're going to do what we can to put it away. Do the chores in the morning and come back. Uh, whenever we have a plan for what to do next. Which apparently is going to be growing starfruit. A lot of starfruit. I've done all my chores and it's not even 10 o'clock in the morning yet. Not only that, but I got 41 rice out of the, uh, out of the mill, which is pretty good. I forget what else I can mill in there. It's probably, oh, yeah, it's probably wheat. Wheat probably makes flour. I suppose I should try and find some of that. Where would that even be in here? Maybe, uh, what if we took wheat? Oh, I don't have a lot of wheat at all. Darn, but I do want you know what I do want to do real quick. I want to make some, I need to replenish my stash of of uh coffee let's let's do that real quick and then what am i gonna do today i think i'm gonna run into town and see if there are any quests that would be good for me to do can i eat that oh i can't eat it what do you know an apple a day um but i think we're gonna run into town and see if there are any quests that i can do first and then after i'm done if there aren't any or even if there are some i may go up into the i think i'm gonna go up into the caves up into the mines today Oh, that's right, but we do have all of the our, uh, the blackberries. Today is the third and final day of blackberry season. And I really don't know what I want to do. We've got wild plums. Maybe I will just go and do some... Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's, that's on the ground. And then there's this whole farm, too. I still haven't figured out what to do with all this. Oh, that sound. Me gusta. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much, but I do. We're just gonna kill all this stuff. I got I got nothing else to do, nothing better to do today, so might as well just go and and just destroy all of these all the tall grass here. I'm cutting the grass. I'm actually providing a service. 
free of charge. This is nice, just for you. Get some get some wood. I'm gonna get some stone as well, actually. Look at this now. Just like this. There we go. Okay, good. So I'm gonna get some stone out of this, this which is which is something we need. Because I'm gonna use those to make the stone staircases in the skull caverns. Yeah, look at this. Uh, th this is looking mighty nice over here, I'm not gonna lie. And it goes so much better when you've got, er, so much faster and easier when you've got the coffee in you. I like the sprite in you. Everyone, anyone ever remember that one? This is for you, all you old folks out there. It's an age test. There was a commercial that Criss Cross starred in. And uh, it was a sprite commercial and they sang a rap. And anyone who was cool, you knew the rap. You, I still remember the rap. You put a can in the hand and just pop the top. I said, Chris, what's up, love? What's that in your hand? It's the S-P-R-I-T-E can. I had the right utensil. Why are we not chopping the tree? Oh, that's a permanent tree. That tree does not come down. Got to drink another coffee, though, because I'm slowing down. I can feel I got a case of the one o'clocks. Oh, it's already one o'clock. Look at this. I've wasted the whole entire day just right here. Like you do. Like you do. But I'm making it look so nice. I wonder if you could get rid of every single rock and tree and everything here. If that would actually... Um, if that would actually uh, clear up the quest in here. I don't know what the quest is for this, actually, either. There's bound to be one. I just know not what it is. Oh, I just... Not bad. Got a, got a uh, frozen geode out of that. And I can get the hardwood out of this. Oh, maybe that's right. Maybe I couldn't go in before because I couldn't clear that. That actually is a possibility. I don't remember, though. It has been a long time since I've even been by here. It might have been before I had the golden thing. Oh, yeah, it was. Look at it. We got another cutsy thing. Look at the brambles in here, man. There's mushrooms growing. This is not a healthy place. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting iron, uh, black lung just, uh, just standing here. Oh, wait, that's it? I thought, I thought there was more. I thought there was more. Where are we going here? There's nothing here, but I may get a cutscene at some night time. What else we got? There's boxes. Those things. Don't have anything for that. Okay. Can't clear any of this stuff, but I can't walk. I can walk over it, so it doesn't matter. All right, so I've cleared out this whole area. Not sure what it's for. But we're going to maybe find out. Oh, jeez. Now I've got another cutscene where I've magically transported to the opposite end of the town that I entered from. And I've gone over to the bridge where the butterfish and the puppyfish are. And minnows. I haven't fished here in forever. Oh, it's Camille. Or is it Camilla? Camilla. What a lovely view. Whoa, boy. Huh? Oh, you got to stop doing that to me. Chuck behind you, pile. <laughs> Ew, oh, he's, you're so, you're something else, Camilla. Uh, wondering why I'm here, aren't you? Let's just say I grew a tad bored of Razzie's mage meeting, and I sensed you were here. Alone. I'm a married man. I'm a married spud. I'm a married spud. Go fishing here often? I wasn't even in this part of town, Camilla. You transported me here, didn't you? Why don't I use a little magic to make things more interesting? Okay. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. I don't know how that, how they're supposed to pronounce it, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. That's fancy. So what just happened? Voila! With a winky. Why is there a cat sound? <laughs> the puppy fish have more friends to play with now. Do we have catfish too? That are actual cats? And with that, I make my marvelous departure. Ciao, pile! With the winky, Camila. Winky Camilla, um, I don't see... Oh, what the heck? Huh? Huh? Looks like we're doing a little detour. Something is meowing in the water. Can I get a cat? I, I would take a cat. Oh, oh, and it brought me right there. Oh, that's funny. Oh, my gosh. I'm almost done with the cutscenes. We've had so many, so many heart events these last couple of weeks that I just, I, I'm almost just kind of done with them. Not really, but I almost am. Hello, Pyle. Visiting Shearwater Bridge, I see. I'm doing some calculations on its structural integrity. Wow. Smart fella. Rather be that than a fart smeller. Uh, this bridge was built 40 years ago, and at the time, it was a triumph of engineering. Bridges fascinate me. They're so simple, but can have so much impact on people's lives. I've built models of a few famous ones. Someday, I want to build something on this scale. That would be pretty sweet, dude. 
Nothing holding you back, Victor. There's a bridge engineer in Grampleton. His name is Ralph. When he needs help, I assist him with his work to get hands-on experience. That's the way to do it. Apprenticeships are a great thing. The physics and mathematics that go into bridge construction need to be absolutely flawless. Even a tiny mistake in a single calculation could lead to a major catastrophe. Yes, yes, I could see that. Just ask the, the Tacoma Narrows peoples. They'll tell you all about it. <laughs> I'm returning to my residence. Need to run these calculations on my computer. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Pyle. Thanks, Victor. Good. It's been a pleasure to speak with you too, bruh. Bruh. Feels like a bruh moment to me. So I have that there. I don't know why, though. Oh, right. And I still have all of the... Um... Can I... I don't think I can go any further, can I? No, that's it. Um, I still have... Oh, no more. Drink the coffee. Oh, I almost missed this moral. I almost missed this moral, which I swear I thought it was a... No, I don't go that way. Something mewing in the water. Oh, look at that. There are little kitten fishes. Okay, we need to catch ourselves a kitten fish. Whatever this little guy is. What? You've got to be joking me. So we've got the... We've got... Uh, We've got dogfish and butterfish, like you do. And now we've got catfish. And I'm just hoping I can catch one of them. I just... Well, I would like to get maybe a couple of puppy fish, honestly. If I can get a couple of puppy fish. Oh, and salmons. I want to get a couple of puppy fish because that is one of... Um, brrr, my wife. What's her name? Uh, Sophia. That's the one. Sophia's... Oh, my gosh. I'm glad that doesn't happen in real life. Uh, one of Sophia's favorite... Things. This is a few of my favorite things. When the dogfish bites, when the catfish meows. Oh man, I don't know that I'm gonna catch it. I'm not gonna catch it. I've lost this one for good. Please come back to me. Oh oh, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Because you might not. Oh, I did get it. A puppy fish. Okay, well, I still want the dog, though. I still want the catfish, though. Five seconds left on my coffee. Shouldn't have had that coffee, I suppose. Oh, we got another one here. Oh, my. Do I, but do we? Do we have the other one or no? Okay. I feel like he's gonna dart up and down like that. So I am trying to anticipate it. That one, you tried to juke me out. I wasn't having any of it. Nice try, puppy fish. Not today. Come on, I want a cat kitty thingy. Kitty fish. Give me a kitty fish. Kitty fish. I can't believe that's even a thing. That's so awesome. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. That one was... That was a wild one. We got a wild one over here, folks. Oh, no. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, whoa. I didn't know you could do that. I let it bounce off the top, and it snapped right back down fast rather than falling slowly like it usually does. Usually it bounces down and then back up. I have to keep my eye on this. I can't even look at the timer. Another puppy fish. Ah, ah. Three golden puppy fish, though. Never gonna get a uh, an iridium puppy fish. Just not gonna happen. All right, I might try my hand at this a few more times and then go from there. I did it. I got one. There's a kitty fish right there, boys. And I even got a chest with it. This thing bounced around just as much as the puppy fish did. But dang, a magical fish summoned by Camilla. It, li it likes scratches under the chin. What? That thing is pretty sweet. And I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we're going to try and figure out something to do with it. Chipped amphora. The heck is that? Gunther. Time to go visit Gunther. Oh, man. I didn't even know that. Uh, oh, man. That kitty fish. It's pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. But I don't know if I should put it in the same tank as the puppy fish. Although they seem to be fine with each other right now. I should do this. If this is still open, probably not. I think they close at four. Oh, the forest is a wonderful place. Have you been there? Have I been there? Oh, man. Oh, got another cutscene. You've got to be joking. Hmm. Those kids made a mess again. Sorry, Gunther. I don't know why your name is, how I pronounce it, Gunther. But you, uh, you, you speak like a southern gentleman. Ah, hello, Mr. Pyle. Apologies for the clutter. It'll be cleaned momentarily. Ah, kids will be kids. Who cares? She come to my house. Penny is normally good on these kind of things, but she was in a rush today after class. Why? Why? Help put back the books. That's obviously what we're going to do. Ah, you'll help put away the books. You can start on the right. Do I, do I do it? Is it like a mini game? That would actually be pretty neat. 
Maybe I'll find something interesting pulled out. Maybe. Thank you kindly for the help, Mr. Pa. Okay. Oh, gee. Okay, so I, I actually can give this to him now. Boom. Let's put the chip in for a... Uh, we'll put it some near some other human things. How about over here? Whatever that is, there it is. I do not have a thing, though. That's too bad. Abby's here. Are you growing pumpkins on your farm this year? Save one for me. You know, I don't think I am. Foraging. So apparently there is something in here. Oh, uh, the Fisherman Act 1. Texan Gordy. Oh, good old Texan Gordy. It's been forever. You must make the choice to become a true fisherman. And over time, your fishing speed will increase. I don't need to worry about that, though. There's apparently some book somewhere here that will help me to know what to do. Uh, oh. Strange bunt oi box. Bunt oi box. Maybe this is one of those types of things. S U Super Cucumber Town. Super Cucumber Town. Do Doc Mayo Saloon. Doc Mayo Saloon. Strange uh bunt oh strange bunt oi box. Str strange bun toy. Strange bun, strange bun toy box. Strange bun toy box. What? Okay, so Doc Mayo Saloon. Doc Mayo Saloon. What? Okay, I actually, I don't know how that, why that just popped into my mind that maybe each of the words represented the first letter. So that's what I've been doing. In case you've been very confused and worried if I was having a stroke or something, I'm not. Um, S U P E R super C U C U M B E R cucumber town super cucumber town, but I don't know what these mean. I figured out what it is, but I don't know what it means. That's too bad. Goblins. <gasps> Wait, isn't that the goblin that I have to get past? Uh, Northwest beyond the blue mire hills, characterized by their green skin, bright red eyes, and foul smell. Initial encounters of goblins can be frightening for inexperienced travelers, despite their unsettling appearance. Goblins possess an intellectual and emotional capacity akin to humans and have no trouble learning our customs and languages. The goblins I've met have been rather friendly and amiable once I've shown that I mean, mean no harm. Unfortunately, centuries of distrust and ill treatment from humans has led many goblins to pursue careers in the employ of witches, war warlocks, necromancers, and other unsavory types. A traditional goblin diet con largely consists of grub meat. Uh, I could do a bug steak. Typically from the large and juicy grub varieties native to the goblin forest, special occasions goblin will dodge an item called void mayonnaise. Consider perhaps the finest delicacy in all goblin cuisine. I wonder if that is what I have to give the, the goblin. Because uh, there was something. I think he said he wanted something or needed something. I don't remember exactly. I'm going to make him run. Let's go. Vibrate. Go fast. Look at him go. Oh, yeah, boy. Okay, so once they get out of the way. Uh-oh, is that too close to Clint? No, it's not. Okay, that's good. Folks put a lot of time into the community garden. I come to admire the work. Cool. It's Pelican Town Community Garden. I can't use it. It's not for me, apparently. Ah, oh, get out of here. I wanted to go to the trash can, Gunther. Gunther, go away. Eh? Where do you live, Gun Gunther, actually? I'm rather curious. Oh, he goes this way. Or is he just going to sit on this park bench? Is this where he sleeps at night? Is this where he lives? I mean, I was just going to stand there. It's nice to live by the river. I fall asleep to the soothing sound of water every night. What are you doing here? Perhaps Penny could spend a lesson teaching these kids how to properly put away books in alphabetical order. I could assist in the lecture. That would be swell, Gunther, I'm sure. Okay, so I need to go get some void mayonnaise because I'm kind of thinking that's what I have to give the goblin to get him out of the way. Oh, and we were going to look for quests. No, I don't, wanna, no, don't know if I want to do this for tomorrow. See. A paste of fresh walleye makes a wonderful tonic for toothaches. If you find one, could you, I could put it to good use. Pretty sure I've got a walleye. And that was the other thing I was going to do, is I was going to go down to the big bulletin board and see, yes, trash bread, and see if there was a special quest for me. Is that too close? No, it's good enough. Yes, there is a special quest. So, prismatic jelly. Oh, those are the worst. Uh, or a thousand pieces of wood in a week. Just for fun. And you keep the wood. I, w I could do either of these. Uh, I think I'll go with the... <sighs> this prismatic jelly one is awful. 
I've had two two days of bad luck, so I'm due for some good luck. I'm going to go ahead and do the prismatic jelly. And hope that that doesn't just go to come back to bite me in the butt. That's what I'm going to hope. Oh, yeah, I want to talk to you. You've been here a while now, haven't you? Your farm must be thriving. I don't know what, why his voice changes every time either. I, I just haven't settled on a good military-style voice for him. Oh, that's right. We're running home. Here I am just, like, doing whatever and shooting the breeze. And there's a there's a grape. <laughs> a blackberry, I mean. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to go get these ones too then. Why not? Oh, and I'll bet there's a bunch of them up there, but we can do that later. So there's prismatic jelly. Slay prismatic slime and get the jelly. Bring Harvey. Oh, Harvey. A walleye. Why did I accept that one? Flippin' Harvey. Okay, the here here we go. The moment we've been waiting for. I do have a void mayonnaise here. I actually have three void mayonnaises here. Oh, I have to step on it? That's right. I have to step on it. Step on it, boys. Um, Just want to make sure I only give the dude the one, if that's the thing he wants. Sniff, sniff. Henchman. That smell. I can't resist. Give me that. Thanks. Hey, look at this. I can actually go to the witch now. And, oh my. Oh, oh, I don't want to do that yet. Wait, what is this that I just got? I don't know what I just picked up. I just started clicking thing. I found the wizard's lost magic ink. Better return it to him. What? Is that going to make her really angry with me? That's not the one I wanted, though. That's that prismatic jelly. And I need the walleye still. What do we got here? Curse the countryside. A spell book for the rural witch. <laughs> Great. Dark shrine of selfishness. The statue stares through you. Dark Shrine of Memory, the statue stares through you. Dark Shrine of Night Terrors, this ancient magic seal of protection will be lifted, allowing monsters to appear in your farm at night. Make an offering of one strange bun? No. No, we're good with that. The bone is probably covered in bacteria. You, you decide not to touch it. So what does this do? Oh, I just transported somewhere fancy. Oh. Oh, does this work now? To... Oh, witch hut. Something witch hut. The symbols are scratched off, that's why. So what does this one do? Not in use. Can I use all these? First slash guild hall. Nope, can't use that one. Castle village guild hall. Nope, can't use that one. At Atlantis W and Fern Guild Republic Ministry of Magic. Okay, so I can't use any of those. And I'm running out of I'm running out of uh, speed here. As I'm also running out of time. It's eleven thirty. So I think we're gonna have to book it to get back home. But that's okay. Hey, we we solved the witch's thing, and we've got another cutscene. You found my ink. Excellent. Err. Uh, err. Err. Did you happen to see my ex-wife? No? Well, what about her house? Do you think she lives alone, or...? <clears throat> why... why M. Rasmodius? Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. You dog, you. He's still got feelings for the old hag. Anyway, you must be wondering about your reward here. Here what? All this cool sprites that'll go up there like that. Look like little popcorns floating away. It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. <clears throat> By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. I think you'll find it useful. What? This is really cool. Oh, I almost forgot to say. Uh, um, thank you. Okay, I'm going to use your little magic book here. Let's go. Let's go. Where is it? I just want to see what it does. This can't wait. Oh, wow. I could put a Junimo hut on my farm. And they'll harvest the crops around the hut for me. 200 stone, star fr nine star fruit. They like them star fruits, huh? An earth obelisk warps you to the mountains. Oh, dude. Warps you to the beach. Oh, how cool is the design on this? I like that one a lot. Oh, my. To the to the desert. I could do that. A million gold. I'm, I'm almost a tenth of the way there. Fifth of the way there. Prevents debris from appearing on your farm. Keeps fences from decaying. Holy cow, these are some these are some sweet buildings I've got the potential of putting on my farm here. I would like to do this. I wonder what the range is on that. 
Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed your time here as much as I enjoyed spending it with you. I'm going to sell this last Void ex Mayonnaise Extra one that I had, and we are going to go to sleep for the night. You can, though, check out the videos you see on your screen. There's some all over the place just for you, because I think you'll enjoy them. If you've been this far in this episode, you probably will enjoy them. Hit that like and subscribe button down below. These are free things you can do to help the channel. And as always, my pylons. Last but not least, stay safe and be well.